Here we are again. It's a part five of the annoying, probably ten part series that I'll do. I know I promised I would go past a part four, but if you're unaware of the whole saga that I'm talking about, just click up here and start from part one. So today something super exciting happened. The face of Cole's mini collectibles was announced. Um, and, uh, it's me! Yay! Yay! Mind you, this is all self-proclaimed. Like, Coles haven't officially said anything. Yay! So I got the call up uh, from a very reputable news program here in Australia called The Project. Now it's a national show. It's aimed at a youth market. It doesn't deal with like really boring shit. Um, it deals with real hot current affairs topics like Coles mini collectibles. I've got the full set, as you can see behind me here. No touching. Family and friends know like how crazy obsessed I am. Like when I was a kid, I was full obsessed with Tarzos and Pog, they gone into chips. So I think that's where the obsession with this has come from, hopefully. Otherwise, it's, you know, as an adult with no children, I'd be concerned that I've got all this. As some promotions go, this has probably had the most traction and it is really tapping into that old childhood thing of collecting things and trading them with your friends. And because there's something about adults that's hardwired to respond to small, cute things. You have to spend like 30 bucks. Now, I never spend that at a normal shop and I needed some toilet paper. <laughs> And I went into Coles, I was like, I'll just get $30 worth of toilet paper, which is like 150 rolls of toilet paper. So I had like all these rolls of toilet paper and I got my little mini and it was a double and I'd never been more disappointed in my life. But I was pretty chuffed that a reputable news company decided to come uh, just skip Coles altogether, boring, haven't heard from them yet, uh, and come straight to me, the face. The celebrity face, that's a bit arrogant, the celebrity face of the Coles Little Shop Minis. <laughs> Have you got your set? Wow, look at them all, collect them today. I thought I might take this time to just quickly address something. So I still have yet to receive my set that Coles said they would send. Yes, I collected all of them and I have the full set already. Yes, by me collecting them, I should say, you beautiful human beings sent me your um, little tiny pieces of shit in droves. I'm still getting them uh, in the mail today. I am very appreciative. Thank you so much for that. Uh, my accountant, that's right, humble brag, I have an accountant because I'm so wealthy, who actually just sent me how much tax I owe, so not so wealthy. Although he then said that I should do this thing called averaging, which apparently means I pay less or I get money back. It just means I don't have to pay as much tax, which as I say this, I'll probably edit out because we should be paying our fair share of tax because it goes to schools. It goes to people to educate themselves on how to market things uh, like the Coles Minis. So the person that invented this, I reckon went to a public school, which is funded by my taxpayer dollars. Therefore, I will not accept the averaging and I will just pay my tens of thousands in tax. It's a lot in tax. I owe a lot of money in tax. Anyway, my accountant, he messaged me and said, I've got this great idea. Why don't you give away the second set that Coles are sending you? Hopefully still, I still haven't got it. It's been quite a while. Um, why don't you give it away to someone? Like, that's nice. That's a nice gesture. And then I read some comments in my previous YouTube video. A lot of people think I should give it away as well. And I think that's Bullshit! When a parent has two children, they don't give one away. Or well, usually, sometimes they do. But it's the same thing, like I see this folder as a folder of my children. I don't really want to give it away, but then I don't want to look like a greedy head. So when I do get my second set, I will contemplate giving it away. In the comments below, why don't you tell me do you want, do, of course you are, of course you're gonna write yes. Can you write no? Can you just write no? Can you just write no so there are a lot of comments that say no, nah, don't give it away, keep it for yourself. You deserve it because you spent lots of money collecting these things. I spent $30. Some people spent $900. I didn't. I just begged and groveled for Coles to send it. Then when Coles didn't say anything to me, um, you came through and I begged you to send it. And I do have to say, I am very appreciative. I do sound really ungrateful and greedy, but I am very appreciative because it cost, like some people paid like 
$1.50 just to send me one tiny thing in an envelope. Oh, oh, there'll be one more update. I know I said that last video. No, I didn't. I said there was no more updates last video. There's going to be one more when I get my proper official Coles mini set from Coles. Um, I'll do a giveaway video. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but we'll work that out when we get to it. Oh, that doesn't. Anyway. Alright, bye!